Alright, what's up guys? Ancient here, bringing you another episode of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Now, I've been, I've spent the last like two, uh, two hours just wandering around looking for ways to level up and generally what to do and figure out what the fuck to, like how to level up, how to, generally just how to fix all this shit. And, uh... I've finally, after repeatedly doing random encounters to get some XP, I have it quite leveled up yet, as you can see. I just finally decided to go to the Ancient Tomb. And we'll see what occurs in here. Why did my left screen turn black? Oh, Tartuccio's mercenary information. This is my path. It appears he got here first. Holy shit. Come on, charge already! What?! You fucking missed! There we go. Oh no. You died. Come on. I can do this. Shield of Faith. Oh fuck. What are you doing? Why are you walking towards Lindsay? You fucking maniac. Can you please kill him already? Jesus Christ, barbarian whose name I've forgotten somehow. Come on, heal him, heal him, quick, quick, yes! He lives! Jesus! Finally! I can't believe... I can't believe that was as hard as it was. I'm listening. I like the soundtrack in this game, though. There we go. Longsword, fragment of a necklace. I tire of waiting. Uh, I should have emptied my invent. I should have gone and sold all my shit before coming here, but whatever, I'll just drop all this. Wait. Here's the problem. I have barely any armor for my... for my group. My little people. Uh, whatever. Wait, huh? Oh yeah, Masterwork Longsword is not better than that. Why did I have that equipped? What a fucking idiot I truly am. I wonder how long I've I've had that I've had that plus one sword. Probably a while. Ooh. The image carved in the stone has almost completely worn away over the ages. One can... One can still distinguish a sickle, a sword, and a skull and a single with a single eye socket covered with a coin. Uh-huh. I see something. You do, do you? Oh, cool. A Cyclops coin, huh? No stopping now. So clearly this... Ooh. A tarp! I failed. I'm sorry. God damn it. Come on, disarm it. It's just not my lucky day. Come on, disarm it! I failed. Fucking I'm Lindsay, come on. Applause, please. Finally! I'm not gonna give you applause. You tried like five times. Jesus. 
it is done. Garnet ring, what did that do? It does absolutely nothing, but at least it sells for a, a wee bit. Why did I suddenly become Irish? Uh, oh cool. Can't believe I missed that. None of this is useful. Ah, how sweet! The first breath of fresh air after the stale stamp stuffiness of that tomb. Before- that's a really small tomb. Before us stretched an unending health, heath, replete with hills and gullies, and patches of low shrubs. Already the trail of Tartuccio and his companions had gone cold. But we would not give up so easily. Whether the trail went cold or not, it was one we had to follow. Ooh! No blade of grass was bent. It must have had enough time to straighten back up since whoever last passed through. But the heath's dry and preserved earth, uh, dry earth preserved the prints of little shoes. Our eyes to the ground, we followed the trail. We walked and walked until finally we came to a huge gully. The dried up bed of a river of yore. But what is this? At the edge. The grass was trampled down, and the soil turned up, and claw prints. Lots of them. We'd stumbled upon a fresh battlefield. And the trail split, and here the trail split. One, of, one set of footprints walked away from the battle, and down into the gully. The brave footprints that faced down their enemies followed the path along its edge. We tried to imagine who or what left those claw marks. Yeah! And here the trail split. One set of footprints walked away- Oh. The claw marks were not deep. The attackers were small and lean and more. These creatures walked on two legs. Finally, the form of the footprints left no doubt in our minds. We'd stumbled onto kobold lands! That's interesting. I'm pretty sure kobold are lizard creatures, dr like draconic. M maybe not draconic, but they're lizards at the very least. Mm-hmm. Try to find some magic, I guess? We discovered traces of a spell, apparently from the Illusion School of Magic. Near where the lonely trail descended into the gully. To our surprise, we discovered that the little shoe prints turned into little clawed footprints. On their way to the gully, it was if... Uh, well, on their way to the gully. It was as if someone from Tartuccio's band was wearing shoes, and then either took them off or grew claws, then jumped into the gully to avoid the battle? What? That seems a bit extreme. But, hey, whatever. Hmm. Hmm. I'll go down into the gully. The way down was steep, and it took some time to reach the bottom. Walking on the loose soil was difficult, but the clawed footsteps were easy to spot. The bottom of the gully went downhill, deeper and deeper. Finally, the footprints turned, whirled up the steep slope, and disappeared at the gully's edge. We couldn't but admire the animal agility and clever claws of the creature that we were following. The slope before us was as tall as two m tall men, and ended at a hanging crest. Climbing such a slope would be no easier than climbing a sheer wall. However, a long, steady-looking root stuck out of the ground from the top. Ah, there was one brave hero among us who decided to try his luck and climb the root. Oha! Um, minus 16. Wow. Give it a shot. Holy fuck success! After tugging on the root, Lindsay took a deep breath, grabbed it with both hands, and began the difficult ascent. Pushing with her feet against the slope and grabbing the root with, a, with both her hands, she climbed higher and higher. Only her heavy breath and the faint creaking of the root broke the deadly silence. Suddenly dust poured down from the top of the slope and the root began to slide from the ground. Keeping her wits, Lindsay shifted her weight to her legs and froze. After a tense moment, she continued her journey. 
and soon had reached the top of the slope. After catching her breath, she lay on the ground and offered her hand to help the next of us up. Yeah, I for a second I was like, what? After catching her? But she didn't fall. Uh, the, I need to read ahead a little bit more. After climbing out of the gully one by one, we easily found the clawed foots footprints again and moved forward. The air grew tense. We sensed that we were approaching our target and our intuition proved correct. Daemons, d daemons, demons, and devils are three different types? What? Okay, I guess. I should uh, create a separate save real quick. No stopping now. Oh shit! The kobolds. Listen to me. A dragon, huge, sparkling, flew down to me from the sky and told me a secret. A great relic that will win the kobolds' glory is hidden somewhere nearby. Enough of this pitiful existence. Search for it. Search and bring it to me. A kobold with unusually purple scales stands a full head above his tribesmen. Their leader speaks in the suspiciously familiar tone voice of the gnome Tartuccio. Yeah. Dragon, glory, dragon. We know the mites under the old sycamore. They possess the magic treasure. Very ancient. Okay. You! When will I finally be rid of you? <laughs> Don't listen to him, tribesmen. This liar comes to play tricks on us. You and you hold him back. The rest of you huh. follow me. What a douche. Oh. We can do it. Bring it. Holy fuck. Harem, you are whooping ass. This is the first time I've fought kobolds. They are much smaller than I imagined them to be. Lindsay, come on, you can't shoot through rocks. Copper ring. Sure. Explore the vicinity of the old sycamore, huh? Take all that shit. Adventures await. March on. Uh huh. It is done. What's that? Nah, well, we're, it's a coin. Glorious, glorious money. Thank you for pointing it out, Amiri. No stopping now. Yeah, let's leave. We're done with this place! Pine patch? Huh. The old sycamore, huh? Where the hell is the old sycamore? And what is this old sycamore? Apparently we need to go there, though. 